for your moon baby of course i do i'm not closing my tab don't it feel like it's been far too long girl huh. your heart don't stand a chance are y'all ready to get this show started three two one. Let's get it. Here we go. You're not tuned into the city flow on Hidden City Radio. Yeah, we know it's some good, good. Make them, make them say. We get girl top notch butterscotch. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? It's your girl top notch butterscotch. It's Friday, March 26, 7 p.m. Y'all already know how it goes here on City Flow, here on Hit City Radio. Now, before we get started, before we get started, I have to send a special shout out to my sister, now called Gran A. Yes, my sister is now a grandmother. And shout out to my little grand nephew because i'm a grand aunt now little easy and shout out to my nephew who is now a father little beezy <laughs> it's a wonderful thing to bring life into the world i just wish many blessings upon them and their family well, my family. So God, just continue to keep us protected under your blood as you always do. So moving right along, if you would like to be on my show, y'all already know how it go. Please submit your inquiry to hiddencityradio at gmail.com. If you're a music artist, MP3 format, proper metadata, I am a registered station with ASCAP, BMI, and SCE, and we want to make sure that you get paid those royalties. So if you are a business owner, submit your inquiry with a um, your link, web links, and I'll go ahead and check you out. And make sure you're on the up and up to be on the show. Moving right along, if y'all in the baseball, opening day is coming up, April 1st. Uh, shout out to the LA Dodgers for winning the World Series last year. Y'all know I'm a Red Sox fan, so you know. But I just like to give credit where it's due. So moving right along tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I got a great show lined up for y'all as always. We're going to be talking with Mr. Brandon J. Patrick. Yes, he's a dancer, choreographer, writer, singer, and and a host yes he is and he just dropped his latest ep small tides volume one and if you have not checked that out you need to go check that out available on all digital platforms y'all already know i'm gonna play my favorite song from the album tonight but let's go ahead and bring him on the screen so we can get to know him shall we all right let's do it Mr. Brandon J. Patrick, are you there? Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you <laughs> loud and Perfect. clear, sir. Beautiful, beautiful. Can you hear us? I got you. I hear you. I hear you. Nice, nice. It's such an honor to have you on the show. Thank you for this thank opportunity. Thank you for having me. No, it's thank a you. It's pleasure. If you don't mind, I myself already know a little bit about you, but if you don't mind, go ahead and introduce yourself to our listeners. Yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Brandon J. Patrick. I'm a singer, actor, dancer, writer, um, host, all of that good stuff. And um, I'm from Tampa, Florida, but I currently reside in Los Angeles. And nice. um, yeah, that's about it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> thank thank you. you. Thank you again for this opportunity. Are you ready for the interview? I am. <laughs> all right. I'm ready. Let's jump into it, shall we? All right. So... I found you through another artist. Um, you may okay. know him, Rob Milton. I shout love him. Rob. What? Yeah, shout out to him. Shout out to Rob Milton, who I'm trying to get on the show. Still waiting <laughs> on you to confirm. I know you watching, Rob. Come on, confirm that email. Got one date left in April for you, just for you. So I found you through him. And when mm -hmm. I tell you, I instantly fell in love with your music and Thank your you. work. I instantly put you in rotation because I was just like, they got to hear this guy. Why don't nobody know about him? 
So Thank my you. question to you is what first got you into music? Um, a combination of things. I think one, I was born and raised in a Kojic church. So um, music is a huge <laughs> part of, of, you know, being Kojic. And yes. um, also uh, my dad is a very eclectic um, music listener. He listened to everything. Nice. And I felt like that gave me the permission to explore musically and eventually fall into singing myself and then writing when I was in like sixth grade. I've been writing music songs since I was in sixth grade. So yeah, I think like just a mixture of church and like having a, a strong music culture in my house. For sure. Nice. Yeah. So you were born and raised in Kojic. You know what they say, you gotta be born in. <laughs> you cannot join in. Oh yes. <laughs> Go ahead, do it. Hit it, hit it. Oh, now. Yes. <laughs> oh yes. All right. So are you in the choir? Are you actively involved or do you, you know, are you any like music director or anything of that nature in the corporate Not church? at all. Like, um, it's funny because I grew up in the choir. So I was okay. just singing in the choir in the tennis section. And then I started dancing when I was a bit older. So then nice. um, I was choreographing for our dance ministry. Um, we kind of started that from the ground up with um, uh, Denise Williams, who was like, uh, the, nice. was the first child at the time. And so, um, yeah, we started a dance ministry. So I was dancing and singing at the same time. So I was kind of uh, split in a half and half. But um, no, I just watch from here now. I don't go to any physical, but nobody can right now. But um, right, before right, that, right, right. I wasn't going to a physical building. I was just watching online. But Okay, yeah. good deal. Yeah. All right. So what made you say, all right, I got something here. I think I'm going to just take my music seriously now as an artist. Um, I really don't know, to be honest. <laughs> I, think, I think it was a combination of things. I think being super inspired by people. Um, okay. Like, I really loved Music Soul Child growing up. Um, mm. So I think take, seeing him take his music so seriously in Diary, uh, Brandy, um, and the Mary Mary to on the gospel side, Kirk Franklin, yeah. Fred Hammond, Bumpy Key, all those people. Um, I think that was it. But my brother also was uh, trying to play keys and produce at the same time that I was, you know, writing songs and we didn't really know. Okay. So when we put our, you know, minds together, and we actually started making good music. I was like, oh, okay, this is something. <laughs> and you know, so I think that's what made me take it seriously for sure. Yeah. Okay. So how many albums are you in so far? Do your just one. This is my first one. This, this is, my is your one. first one. Uh oh. Yeah. And are that's you getting one. are you getting the reactions that you thought you were getting? Or are you getting way more reactions? How do you feel about your reactions? Um, it's funny you, you asked that. I am getting super positive feedback. Um yeah. so I'm super stoked about that. But I'm super bad at everything but the music so like all the marketing all that stuff like i'm just really trying to um get into it and get my feet wet with that because yeah. you know you think like okay i've done this project we've mixed it we've written it we produced it we did all this stuff i recorded it all of this and like that's the end and that's really the beginning and mm -hmm. so i think this project is a good way for me to um kind of figure that out so um i i want it to get more legs so thank you so much for having me and for playing my, my <laughs> no worries but, um, but yeah so i think that's the part for me yeah okay so with that being said do you feel like the internet will help your music or do you feel like it will just be a strain to your career because you know social media i'm gonna just be honest with you even me as a business owner i hate that part of the yeah. business is social media marketing so do yeah. you think if you you know put that extra fire under your butt do you think that you know the internet will help you get to the next level in your music career Right now, yes, considering the pandemic and all that stuff, yes. I think we don't really have a choice. This yeah. is all we have. Um, I can't go out and shake hands and kiss babies and stuff. So I have <laughs> no choice but to, like, you know, buy an ad and, you know, yeah. keep posting and doing all that, which I hate. I just really want to just make music. But, I mean, it's a part of it. It really is a part of it. So, yeah, nice, I think it would nice. So have you ever considered any virtual concerts or have you ever yes, done Yes, I have concerts? our first meeting today. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm just so stuck. No, no, no. Fine. We're going to celebrate that. <laughs> I'm our first meeting today about it. I'm super excited. Um, yeah, to get to sing live. We get to hear what I sound like, you know, without mixing and stuff. So I'm excited. Like, I'm okay, super Okay, give excited. us some more details. Can you yeah. drop any details or no? There isn't much yet. It's just, okay. um, we just started talking about it and it's a thing. So I had, we had a meeting today. We have another meeting Tuesday and hopefully nice. then I'll have a date and everything will be settled. So yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get a virtual concert real soon. We are. Nice. Okay. So with that virtual concert, are you going to charge or is it going to be free? It's going to be on Instagram, know. Facebook. Y'all still working out that? We are working that <laughs> okay. out. 
Um, because I want like I want to make money. I I want this to be my job. Of course. But I course. also want it to be accessible and I, I think it's my first project and I don't want to be stingy with my art. So um yeah, I'm on the fence. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that as long as you you know, just pray about it, baby. Pray. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. When you can't figure it out, just Lord, you know what I need. That's right. So, with that being said, which famous musicians do you admire most? Ooh, um, I love Brandy. Mm. Um, I love, love, love Brandy. If that was not very apparent through listening to my EP, I okay. love her. <laughs> <laughs> I love her so much. Um, I really like uh, Music Solo Child as well, like I said. I think his last two albums were really strong and showed a lot of growth, which it's weird to say that he couldn't even grow anymore. But like he really right. just showed a lot of vocal maturity mm -hmm. that I didn't know he had left to show. So I thought that was really cool. Um, I love Paramore, the band. Um, uh, yes, they're real awesome too. I love them. I love Hayley Williams um, as well. Um, yeah, I think that was uh, Mary Mary. Um, yes. Pharrell is a huge yes. also a huge um, inspiration of mine. Yeah, that's about it for now. Mm -hmm. Nice. So how do you know Rob Milton? Um, Online. Uh, we had just been friends on Twitter for a while. And nice. I don't really talk about my music like that. Okay. I just think we get better. And so we just been chatting online, like not about music. And then um, he uh, went on my page and saw that I had pinned a video uh, of my song, But Imagine. And that's how he got into the music. But I don't think I actually told him about it or anything like that. So yeah, we just started talking on Twitter. Just became really cool friends, and then nice. Um, yeah, he we've been sure talking back and forth. Did put me on to you. <laughs> <laughs> I owe him a huge debt. I'm indebted for sure. Nice, nice. Yeah. So, are there any music artists that you would like to collaborate with? And if you do have any, who are they? Um, I love SZA, and I think we would make really good music together. Okay. Um, I love Jacob Collier as well. I think I would make wonderful music with him. Okay. Um, writers wise, I think like Victoria Monet would be really fun. Um, Pharrell once again, the Neptunes. Um, Chad Hugo. Um, I think that's it. Like on my radar with the sound that I've been going for yeah. right now, I think I've been listening to. Also, John Mayer would be really fun. Yes, he's a beast. Yeah. I love he's him. He's incredible. I love what? him so much. I love him so much. <gasps> Oh my yeah. God, he'll have you sitting in the corner just crying for no reason. Why you yeah. crying, girl? I don't know. It's just John. <laughs> I saw him in concert right before uh, COVID. So nice. um, I was in love even more. He was incredible. And he does a different set every night. So that was also really cool right. to see. Yeah, it was, it was incredible. Yeah. Nice. So speaking of your sound, what would you categorize your sound as? Because it's very unique. Thank it's you. Very unique. I love Thank it. You. It's not like any other. I don't want to say it's R and B. I don't want to say it's soul. It's it's. It just has so. It's neo soul R and B. So it's just. What is it? That's I don't the, know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, at the very core and heart of it, I think yeah. I can't help but make anything but R and B music. So I think yeah. at the very very core of it. It's R and B, but that's I think um, okay. yeah, that's definitely the root. But I think I love so many things, and I'm inspired by so many things that you know it comes out. Like I'm a musical theater, um, musical, movie musical uh, person. I was obsessed with High School Musical and Cheetah Girls when they came out. Just a few <laughs> and I think you can hear that in like Pacific Ocean a little yes. bit, you know. Um, but I like I'm obsessed with early 2000s R and B, the Dallas Austin, LaShawn Daniels, uh, Rodney Jerkins, Candy Burris. Brandy situation. So I think you can hear that a lot. On I do. Um, that I also love, like the neo soul alternative R&B situation. You can hear that yes. on Malibu. Frank Ocean is a huge inspiration. James Fauntleroy is a huge inspiration. So yeah, I think it's all of those things mixed into one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you do have a little, fr I love Frank Ocean. You do have that Frank okay. Ocean feel to your music. And I think Thank that's you. what attracts me more to you. And me, when I listen to music, I try to envision it with my life, I try to make mm -hmm. all the songs like a soundtrack of my life. And yeah. then I also try to take your music and say, oh, that will sound good as a score on a TV show. Thank you. Like, definitely, you need to link up with Issa Rae if you haven't. She has this new program going around. Because Rob Milton's song was on one of her uh, It sure episodes. was. Okay, don't sleep on yourself, boo-boo. <laughs> Go ahead and yes, submit that. Because this needs to be on there. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay, so... 
Is there any hidden meaning in your music and what is your creative process like? Um, I, this uh, project was really interesting because my brother was in town during the pandemic working with another artist. Mm -hmm. And um, so he stayed with me and he was like, well, while I'm here, we can work on your stuff too. You know, I'm not just gonna work with them, I work with you as well. Nice. So um, he was here and he had never been to LA. So we kind of just drove around, did a lot of driving. And most of the records that you hear um, were started with me writing in my notes. like. Pacific Ocean, I literally wrote the words, throw me in the Pacific Ocean, just don't break my heart. Like on the way to the PCH, I just wrote that. And then he made a beat and then I was like, oh, this goes with that. So yes. this process was like really weird for me because it wasn't conventional in any way. And um, I felt like I was kind of telling my stories without intentionally telling my stories. I listened to it back and I'm like, wow, I was talking about this and I didn't even know I was talking about this or I'm really going through this right now and I didn't realize like how important some of these lyrics are to me. So um, I wouldn't say hidden meaning, but I really feel like during this process, I felt like I do have a gift because I was taught, like I felt like something was giving me the words. Like I didn't really feel mm. like I was always writing them. Mm. Um, so like they weren't, they didn't always feel like they were coming from me, if that makes sense. And I feel oh, like- Oh, it I makes a lot of sense. The Holy Spirit took over. That's what you want to say. Look, oh. it's up, be yourself, all right? <laughs> Come on now. Don't let the smooth I, taste fool you. <laughs> My mother was an elder, oh, all right? <laughs> oh, no, no. No, I Thank feel like you, I Jesus, like Pentecostal. Don't do My it. grandmother don't was Baptist. It. Come on now, I'll catch a Baptist fit up in here real quick. Yeah. Don't play with yeah. me. Hey, I I I Look, I'm not playing with you, Brandon. <laughs> Moving forward, move, I'm not playing with you, Brandon. <laughs> we not but doing no. that. I feel like I received the songs more than I wrote them. And yes. um, yeah, so I think that, that part, this process is tr teaching me to trust the process. And that's like, it. you know, yeah. Trust that's the music, it. trust all of that stuff. Trust, trust God. That, that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it, Brandon. Yeah. That's it. My great grandmother yeah. said before she passed, she said, put God first. And you'll be all right. Yeah. It's just as easy as that. Yeah. That's it. It, it may not yeah. sound easy, but it's just as easy as that. So yeah. with that being said, we're getting ready to listen to your track, Pacific Ocean, because that oh. is my song. Oh, my <laughs> God. Thank you. Brandon, I was just like, why he had to say that? Drown me in the Pacific Ocean, but just don't break my heart. Just don't break my that heart. That part, Brandon. Do whatever you need to do. Just don't hurt my feelings. <laughs> had that joint on repeat. <laughs> <sighs> Let me stop telling my business and stop telling my life. Moving forward, y'all. Up next, we got Pacific Ocean by Mr. Brandon J. Patrick. Y'all make sure y'all keep it locked right here with your girl Top Notch Butterscotch right yeah. here on Hidden City Radio. Oh my gosh. This guy <laughs> here. Hmm. <laughs> I seen it coming, but I ain't care. I'm always open, and that ain't fair. I keep it going when I feel you wanna stop. I show the love when the energy drop. We ain't official. That's not the issue. Throw me. Pacific Ocean Just don't break my heart I let you get me down Thinking that you never really want me around Second guess and every message I'm sending out Telling me that it ain't what I'm thinking about You don't communicate to 
Station bringing you nothing but his best. The biggest in the game. Turn up the volume. Hit the city radio. <laughs> Brandon. Ah! Brandon. I hope y'all couldn't hear me. I was singing so terribly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Brandon. The lyrics. Oh. You know, I'm going through a current situation like oh, that. No, you know what I'm saying? It. No, it. it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> it's all it. right. Mm. But it be like that, don't it? That part, Brandon. It be like that. It be like that. You can do anything you want to do to me. Talk about my yeah. mama. Steal my car. Take Whatever. my jewelry. Take my do tr- not break my heart. Don't yeah. play with me like that. Yeah. Yeah, but it's really funny too because like I feel like that's even a toxic mindset. It's like people shouldn't yes. be doing anything to you, you know. <laughs> Brandon, when I tell yeah. you that whole song was my last situation at hand, and oh, I no. still feel some kind of way about the situation. No, <laughs> but it's I'm all saying, right. but that's, that's cool though. I'm the soundtrack to your life. I appreciate yes, that. this too shall pass, baby. This too. Okay, so oh my gosh. Okay, Brandon. So I gotta get myself together. Mm, okay. <laughs> That song just does something to me. Every time I hear it, I got a little tear in the corner of my eye and everything. <laughs> so moving right along, let's let's talk about how you interact with your fans. If you okay. do, or are you one of those artists, you know, if somebody say, oh, that's hot, and you just keep it moving, you know, are you one of those? Um, I'm just not, I don't even, do I even have fans? I mean, I probably do, but Hello, I Hello, McFly, <laughs> sitting right here in your face. <laughs> Huh? Did you just fade me out like that? Oh, never, never, <laughs> never. No, I just, I feel so regular still, you know, like I just right, right, right. really love making music and I love writing and I love all of that. And it's just really hard to think that I have people who like, like it or, you know what I mean? Cause I really make it for me. Like I, I make it for everybody, but like, I really, really. It comes don't be heart. selfish with it now. Don't be <laughs> selfish with it now, it please. My heart. So it's just really weird to think that I have fans, but um, I really like to reply to everyone. I like to converse. I like to talk about the songs. Um, I've had a few conversations with people who have been like, what is this about? Or what does this mean? And so well, what I, was I, that about? What was that about? Um, let's talk about it. While we're please, here. Dad, let's go. <laughs> um, no, it, basically, I was just, um, I wasn't in a relationship or anything like that, but I took a situation with a friend and kind of mm-hmm. expounded upon it like it was a relationship. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did the same thing. Continue. <laughs> So I, just, I basically took a situation where I felt like, you know, um, I just didn't want to be, you know, you just don't want to repeat history. So it's like, you know what? I'll accept more if that means that you won't hurt my feelings. Um, and so I, I think that's what it really stemmed from was the concept, the concept of, you know, being in a situation that isn't ideal, but allowing, giving the person space to do them and saying like, this is what you can, I'm giving you this full reign. So at this point, you can do whatever you want. Throw me in the ocean, run me over with your core. Okay. Do <laughs> Just don't break my heart. So, um, yeah, which is a terrible place to be, yes. but it was where I was at the time. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, what's an average day like for you as a artist, dancer, host, choreographer in L.A.? 
Uh, it's different now because of the pandemic, but um, like today I woke up and I had a few emails, so I was just like responding to some stuff. Um, I always start with that, so I always start okay. with emails in the morning, and then um, today I had um, I was asked to teach a class, so I had to like figure that out, and then um, I had a meeting um, about the live stuff, um, and then I had another meeting. I'm writing a book, so I'm like working on that too. Oh, yeah, nice. I can't really say much, but I'm okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um, and so I did that stuff today too, so just a lot of create, uh, creative things, just always bouncing one thing off the other, just doing something here, doing something there, taking a meeting, answering an email. That's nice. really it. Um, yeah, and I do that all day and all night. <laughs> now, would you say that's the atmosphere that you're in? Because you said you left Tennessee and you're now in L.A. And I know everybody leaves certain places to go find their dreams, certain places mm -hmm. uh, for people to go to are like New York, L.A., Atlanta, yeah. Miami. So would you yeah. say like your atmosphere that you're currently in inspires you to do the things that you do as an artist? Absolutely. I think yes. I had to leave home to get the space and opportunity to do what I'm mm. doing. Um, I could have, like, my brother is back home and he produces all my records. So I, um, shout out to Jordan. I had shout to, out to uh, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to leave home for a lot of things. Like, I'm an actor as well, I'm a dancer okay. as well. So, like, nice. choreographer. So I had to leave home to kind of really dig my teeth into that. Um, but yeah, I definitely think this is a very creative place. Um, you know, people don't have not a lot of people don't have nine to five. So I can, like, go to ballet at 10 a.m. if I wanted to or whatever. I can't do that back home. Okay. So you know, it's, um, I think my environment definitely does inform how I live my life now, for sure. Nice, nice. So yeah. if you can change anything about the industry, what would you change? Ooh, um, I think there's just so much out there um, and we're just getting fed so much. And I wish there was a way for people to better filter what they like and what they don't like and what they're interested in. I think um, it's hard to reach people now you know, um, there's just, there's just so much. And then you have to fight algorithms and, you know, social media. Yeah. yeah. So I think like, I just wish there was a way or a platform that really allowed people to kind of get to what they like and get, mm. or artists to get to the people that would like them. Versus uh, seeing what's popular or what's trending. Because that depends on so many other things besides the actual product um, or content. Yes. So, um, you know, you can have wonderful music and no one will ever hear it. It's a it's a strong possibility, which is unfortunate. Right. Um, so yeah, I just wish I could change how we get to meet each other, artists and fans and stuff like that. Nice, nice. That does make sense. That does yeah. makes a lot of sense. All right. So I have a few more questions for you before I let you go. Oh no, what? I'm not ready to leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can keep it going. It depends on you now. <laughs> so what is your favorite part of this line of work and what is your least favorite part and why? Um, I love being creative. So I love creating things, making nice. things. I love planning. I love like, you know, the actual execution of the thing. Okay. Um, the least favorite part is everything like we talked about before. Everything that comes after that, the marketing, the everything else, I just do not like it. And I really wish <laughs> I could say that I did. And I really wish I could say I love posting on Instagram or I, whatever, or I love screaming at people that I got an album out, but I don't. <laughs> right, right, right. I feel I don't. you. You're very humble and I love that about you because you, you really don't meet a lot of humble people in this industry. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so let's take a look at your Instagram page, see what you got going on. How about that? Gas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So let's see here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this OMG, is OMG, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. So this is Mr. Brandon J. Patrick's Instagram page. Yeah. As we can all see, he has quite a following, you know, 1,792. That's a good following compared to mine. You know, I'm working my <laughs> way up. <laughs> all right. So let's see here. Oh, you're very creative. Thank so you. So what's the inspiration behind this photo here? Um, I have to shout out my very good friend Jordan Sotero. He is okay. the fatigue. I don't think he wanted me to do that, but I did. I'm so sorry. Shout um, out to Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> um, he basically, um, I had an idea that I wanted to do some more shoots, uh, some more shots okay. that kind of um, exemplified or kind of brought through the feel of the record. And I feel like um, he brought me some ideas. I brought him some, and it kind of culminated yeah. in 
in that look. And that's actually in Malibu. Uh, nice. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. giving me very euphoric. Yeah. And yeah. So when you listen to, even when you listen to uh, Pacific Ocean, mm -hmm. even though the lyrics are what they are, you still get some type of euphoria with mm -hmm. the melodic jingle of the the beats you know it's yeah. just not like a regular slow song that make you want right. to stand in the, in the in the shower and run your hand down the street. <laughs> i'm not giving you pure sadness no, no. <laughs> you making me think about some things you know what i'm saying like yo we ain't official so yeah. like you know it, you yeah. just you just got you just got away with your your lyrics thank I love you it. all right so is this your father no, that is my godfather. His name is Bishop Matthew Williams. He passed away around Thanksgiving time, um, and that was his birthday. So um, I wanted to shout him out. He was a pastor of my church the entire time I was there and the entire time I was living. Um, I also had a very close personal relationship with him. Uh, yes. Uh, I just love him so much, and I miss him every day. So May yeah. he rest in peace. Thank you. Rest well. So answer the question. Oh, you already answered it. What inspired Small Tides? <laughs> yeah, I made a playlist that um, just kind of had some songs I was listening to um, and some songs that inspired me during the making of the record. So um, that's in the link in the bio. You can check that out on Spotify okay. and Apple Music. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice. Was Rob Milton on one of those songs? <laughs> He was not, but let me tell you something. He inspired me so much in the post process. He okay. is such a good self marketer. He is so good yes. at like marketing himself and like doing all that stuff. And I'm just not. And I admire him and I look up to him. And yeah, yeah I think he's amazing. So, yeah. Do you want a team one day that will help you with your social media marketing? I need one. I can't do it alone. I cannot. Do y'all like hear that? Help my boy <laughs> out. Shoot. Don't let him yes. have to beg for nothing. <laughs> Appreciate you. Yeah, it's really a hard. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. It's hard out here. It's hard out here, but I'm trying to it make it is. work. Yeah. It really is. All right. You are so handsome and so creative. Hey. So were you at the beach with this picture here? I was. I was on a mini road trip to San Diego. We went all the way to San Diego to eat fries and we had to stop. <laughs> We drove two hours to eat some fries. So we stopped um, at the beach on our way home. And What is yeah. so spectacular about the fries in San Diego? I don't know. It's quarantine. Still in LA, it's closed, really. So it wasn't okay, really okay. time. And so I was like, let's just drive all the way down that time. We ain't doing nothing else. Right, and, right. Uh, I feel you. Nice road trip. <laughs> the roads was probably yeah. empty anyway. Yeah, it wasn't a lot of traffic at all. It was nice. super. And San Diego is beautiful, so it was fun. Yeah. I used to live in San Diego um, in Coronado Beach or someplace out there when I was in the military. Oh, dope. Super cool. Yeah. I didn't like it much. I came right back over here to the East Coast. <laughs> I don't I understand the West Coast. <laughs> I feel that. All right. So we're looking at a picture here and your caption says, is there a way to keep you from leaving without begging you to stay? Yeah, that's a lyric from my song Malibu. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's that keep that lyric just keeps ringing in my head all the time because I feel that every day. Is there a way to keep people around without begging them to be here? You know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm tired of begging folks. I'm tired that of begging part. folks. part. And see, yeah. my issue is I'll cut people off quick. Like, all right, you know what? I don't got to do with this. I'll cut you. It's just, Me too, but, that's not, but it's not healthy though. It's I don't really know. not. I don't know. See, <laughs> that's why we have your music. <laughs> yeah. So let's figure yeah. it out. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So is there anything in particular that you want us to look at, take a look at on your Instagram page? Because um, your Instagram page is beautifully marketed, honestly. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, Not really. Let me just keep looking. <laughs> um, I just did a lot of photo shoots with um, a photographer named John and another photographer named Chad. And Are I you your own stylist? Work. No, thank you for saying that. I was styled by my friend Raekwon, um, okay. who has a brand called Outside. Um, check that out. But yeah, I was styled by him, and nice. um, I had a really good time. I styled myself in the Malibu shoot, but that this stuff I didn't style me. So yeah. nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I really love the cover of your album. It just thank it's, you. It's so retro, but then it speaks volumes. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, it's, it's just I love it. And speaking of Rob Milton, the Rob Milton responded. <laughs> Love that man. Love him. Nice, nice. So moving right along with some more questions here. Yes, ma'am. Let's see what else. Do you play any instruments? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Why you got to sound so disappointed? 
disappointed about it. I don't, it. because I'm disappointed in myself. I don't. <laughs> I got, me and my brother got guitars at the same time and we was learning at the same time and it got too hard for me. Yeah. And so I quit and now he's a like expert and plays <laughs> guitars on my records and like can accompany me and I can't do nothing for myself. So but you can I'm sing though, can he sing? He he can't sing, but he can sing. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> oh, he can't sing, but he can sing. <laughs> yeah, he can hold a tune. You know, he can do this. He does everything. He can do everything. And here I am. All I can do is sing and write. Which is, you know, some people are like that's a lot. But when you look at my that brother, is. sing, write, produce, you know, draw all that. I'm like, dang. <laughs> dang. It's all right, boo. It's all right. You do a wonderful job with what you do. Thank you so much. So uh, clearly your family is musical. Is that Not correct? at all. No. Oh. <laughs> so just you and your brother? Yes, ma'am. I don't know. That's it. Yeah, I don't know where, why, how, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's see here. Um, what competition competitions have you been in like any open mics or any talent shows at school or anything like that um yeah so in high school i did like a little dance competition um <laughs> like a little talent show it was cute <laughs> when when i'm still bitter about it it was 11 years ago i don't care um <laughs> so you didn't win i take it <laughs> we came in second and it was it wasn't right i'm not i I ain't gonna say too much about it because I should be over now. Let that hurt go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna I ain't gonna hold you about it, but I, whatever. And then let's move on because I'm kind of bad. <laughs> and, and then, I, but I, I've also um, Kojic has the Ames Convention, the AIM Convention, and um, yes. my dance industry uh, competed there. And the first time we competed, we won. So okay, yeah. see. See, it wasn't yeah. your time back then. God made yeah. it up. Because <laughs> yeah. you know them AIM conventions, that's a big thing for y'all in Kojic. It is a huge deal. And so we went, to the, we went to Houston, which was my first time. And I saw it. And I was like, wow, I really want our church to do this. And so, yeah. um, you know, with the help of, like, the, the youth ministry and the music ministry, we got it all together. And, um, yeah, we went and competed and won. So um, shout out to Fruit Dance Ministry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing wrong with that. So you're a dancer. Um, yeah. Like, what's, what's, what's that like? It's interesting because um, I didn't start dancing until I was 19. Mm. So um, yeah, I started in college and then ended up getting my degree in dance. Um, wow. So that's been an interesting journey because it's not been a part of my life my whole life. Right. Um, technique is a, still new for me. Right. Um, so, but I've been able to make a career out of it and been able to do all of that good stuff and God has blessed me in tremendous ways, but, um, I, it's an, it's new. So I'm still trying to figure things out of my body, um, stuff like that. My body is also aging quicker than like, if I was right. 9, 10, 11, 12, you know, you can kind of whatever, but like, yeah. I, you know, I, my body's different. So I, I had to adjust to that and, you know, all this stuff. So it's been interesting, but it's been a really cool journey to keep reinventing myself. And, um, you know, every time my body changes, I get to reinvent my dance style, which is really cool. So Wow. So you started at 19. That's kind of like mm -hmm. a late start. How yes. Yeah. So have you done any background dances? And what kind of genre of dance are, are you in? Um, it's more so concert dance. I've done, I dance in companies. Yeah. So um, I dance in the ballet company. Deal. Thank you. I dance in contemporary companies. Um, yeah, and I actually I can't say what it was, but I just uh, right did a job uh, for a, for a really popular show, so I did that. Um, so I'm still trying to work. <laughs> nice. But um, yeah, I'm a dancer. Yeah, I'm a dancer for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like Alan A. What's his name? Alvin. A Alan a Alvin Ailey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. One of my professors danced for him. So yeah, I um yeah I, I'm a dancer for sure for sure. Yeah. That's awesome. So what got you into Thank dancing? You. My dad, funny enough, it's really funny. I was younger and maybe in high school and it was an Alvin Ailey documentary on PBS. Yes. And he woke me up out of my sleep and was like, hey, I can see you doing stuff like this. I think you would be really good at this. And I'm like, oh, okay. It did look really cool. But I, right. you know, I was like, oh, okay. And my dad took my mom out one of their first dates was the Alvin Ailey concert. Wow. Um, yeah, so he was like, I can see you doing that. And he was well versed in concert dance and modern dance and all that kind of stuff. And so then when um, I went to college, I went to community college and had a friend named Jonathan who was taking dance classes. He was like, I really think he would like this. And he was like, it's giving like Alvin Ailey vibes. And I was like, yeah. oh, okay, I'll try it. <laughs> and from that day forward, I haven't stopped dancing since that day. So, 
Wow, yeah. full circle. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's so awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, so how often and how long do you practice for when you're in dance mode? Um, it's so interesting because I do so many things. So, um, like right now I'm back in dance mode because I'm getting ready to teach a master class via Zoom. So I'm like trying to get okay. in like. <laughs> okay, don't be sleeping on yourself. Come on in, promote all of that. So I'm, um, I'm like getting my body ready. My university asked me to come back and teach a, a class. So I'm like getting my body ready and in shape for that. Um, but it's different now. Like back in college, I was doing a lot of like technique class. So ballet technique, modern technique, all that stuff. Now I'm really trying to uh, hone different other skills and like figure out new things in my body, new ways of moving, um, taking those things I learned and just kind of recalibrating them to what makes sense for me now. Cause I'm just not taking ballet every day. I'm just not gonna do it. So I need to figure out like what. <laughs> I need to figure out, you know, I love the technique, but I'm just, it's just not the same when you leave college and train so rigorously, you literally leave college and don't have that training anymore. Like you just don't get to do it like that. So, or it's really expensive. So yeah, I, um, I'm just, I get in the living room, put some music on and move and groove and yeah. Now and I want to see that. So can you try to post some videos when you're, I mean, yes. you, please, I just want to see some on my that. Instagram if you scroll for sure. See, you ain't even say that. <laughs> because we done pulled that off the screen but moving right along so how do you balance your you you are a busy man so how do you yeah. balance your music with your dance obligations with other obligations love life how do you balance all of that well love life, is not hours? <laughs> <laughs> love life is not existing it does not exist it's not oh, a thing all right oh, all right <laughs> My but i'm a work <laughs> well join the club i'm the president you could be the vice president single single <laughs> Club. I'm the vice president. <laughs> right, 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 right. We meet every Valentine's Day. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, um, I, I am a workaholic. I just love work, and I don't really do think about much else but work. Um, I like reading. I'm super into Star Wars, so I've been like buying up Star Wars <laughs> novels and reading Star Wars stuff. Are you comics. a Jedi or the dark side? I love me a good Jedi. I tell you that. <laughs> I ain't with the red sabers. I, I like the black blue one. Okay. Um, but yeah, but yeah, uh, I a lot of reading if I'm not dancing and acting and stuff. I just really love work, so it's just a really um, cool thing to like be blessed to live in a city where I can do all of those things and like, yeah. Nice, nice. So you're in the books. What book are you reading? Um, right now. There's a book called Dread Nation, which is really interesting. I forgot who it was by, but it's about um, basically around slave times. Mm. Um, there was a zombie outbreak, like a zombie apocalypse. So like they're training. Oh, slaves. never mind. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> ah, it's good. It's good. I'm telling you. It's about they train slaves to fight zombies. And it's like. Oh, so all right. Oh, all right. Then I might like yeah. that. I might like yeah. that. Yeah. It's really good. I just started it yesterday. It's really okay. good. I'm not reading now, but I'm in like a little book club where we all read the Star Wars novels. So I've been doing that. And that's been the most fun I've had in a long time. So, so. sci fi is your genre. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Completely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So. Let's see a few more questions. <laughs> I'm down, I'm down. <laughs> so how do you handle your mistakes during your dance performance? Like, do you beat yourself up? Do you keep going? Like, how does that work? Because no um, one ever really sees the mistakes unless you're sitting there really looking at it. That's what's comforting. And I think because of that awareness, mm -hmm. I don't really beat myself up about it. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm out of place now and performing that. You know, if I mess up, I just messed up and I can recover and I'm fine and it's cool. And even if I fail, because I remember I danced at a wedding once and I busted my butt. Like I <laughs> busted my butt. It was so embarrassing. And then when I got off, everybody was like, oh my God, that was so good. And no one even mentioned me falling and noticed that I fell. And I asked some people like, did you see me fall? They're like, no, I didn't see you fall. And I clearly <laughs> busted my butt. Um, so ever since then, I'm just like, ah, who cares? <laughs> I did what I did. <laughs> I bet you you made more big of a deal about the fall than anybody else did. Absolutely, no one even noticed. That's the thing, and I think <laughs> so. Y'all see really... me fall? Oh, all right. Right, and I was mad. They ain't see me. I was mad. I fell. Mad. They ain't see me fall. It was terrible. <laughs> all right. So you moved from Tennessee to Los Angeles, Tampa. Oh, 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 I don't know why I said Tennessee. Tampa. Shout out to Tampa. Yay. I was actually uh, living in Orlando 
back in 2010 through 2016. So, oh, dope. Area. Yeah. 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 I really yeah. liked I 4. It was all right. <laughs> <laughs> I went in the cost. Okay. So, <laughs> Moving forward, you moved from Tampa to the West Coast. Mm -hmm. Did your family have to sacrifice anything towards your success? Um, I don't think so. I mean, just not having me around. I think it's, you know, um, I, I have a, such a, like, tight-knit group of people mm -hmm. in my family. Like, we're just so close. And I think not being there for birthdays and holidays and all that stuff is really hard to get used to. Yeah. I'm also the oldest grandson on both sides of my family. So Aww. it's, um, yeah, it's just a weird thing to not be there and like yeah. to have always been there. Um, so I think that much for certain. Um, this not having me around, but um, they are super supportive of my dreams and um, nice. are super encouraging, yeah. Nice. So what do you do for encouragement and to be motivated? Um, it's hard. I've been struggling with that lately, to be honest, um, because uh, sometimes you change like you're different every day. And yeah. um, what motivated you yesterday might not motivate you today. So that's I think um, navigating that and understanding that that's OK and um, also letting myself sit in whatever I'm feeling and not trying to brush it off and say, I need to just work. But, you know, like <laughs> actually feel what I'm feeling and say, you know yeah. what, maybe I should step back today and just watch Netflix all day, you know, and today. And then tomorrow we'll pick it back up. Um, it's hard. Every day is different. Yeah. I love to eat. I love frying chicken. So a lot of times <laughs> if, I'm, <laughs> if I'm feeling down, I'll go in there, pour a pot of oil and batter up some chicken and fry it. And Do you burn the chicken? Oh, no. Many don't burn I, no chicken. <laughs> I, no, I do not. I do not. I'm a fry connoisseur, let me tell you. I will fry anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's so therapeutic, like hearing the chicken in there just like making noise. That I don't cackling. know. I love it. I lo I'm so ashamed. <laughs> I love it. I'm right there with you. I even know when it's time to take the chicken out. When it ain't oh, popping exactly. that much, it's time to take mm -hmm. it out, baby. <laughs> oh, yes. I just fried some catfish nuggets the other day. I just, I love frying food. I just. Ain't yeah. nothing wrong with it. So when it's all said and done, Mr. Brandon J. Patrick, what do you want to be recognized for, remembered for, Aww. validated for? Um... I think being authentic, authentic and authenticity and being genuine and um, being approachable and um, being relatable and yes. uh, <laughs> things that, you know, not, might not necessarily have to do with the art itself, but uh, as, as a person who I am, because, you know, I love to dance, I love to make music, but I'm not, those aren't me, you know, I'm somebody else outside of those things. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think I want to be remembered for being human more so than being a, a great dancer, a great singer, a great writer, all that stuff, which I want to be remembered for that, that as well. But I think right, right, right. being a great person yes. is just so important to me. And I nice. think being genuine and all that is super important. So, yeah. <laughs> Y'all heard it here first on Hidden City Aww. Video with your boy and your girl, Top Nights <laughs> Butterscotch. Mr. Brandon J. Patrick, please let the people know where they can find your latest and first album, an awesome album. Y'all need to go have real numbers you. up. Cause Thank whoo, you. Please. When we get off of here, I'm about to go put on the whole CD. Oh, all right. <laughs> Thank you. It's, oh, it's Friday everywhere. Too. I want me a good cry. Speaking of good cry, if y'all haven't heard Rob Milton's latest EP single, Cry, go check yes, that out. Go too. get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Have you heard that? It's so good. Oh, oh Jesus. I'm going to brag. He let me hear it first. So what? I'm going to brag. Yes. What? Yes. He, I probably All right. Say, but Don't even say no more. <laughs> I'm going to be up in that inbox like a just he gonna let me get tell me. you he something. Gonna get me. He not going to ever send me nothing again. He not going to ever send me nothing again. <laughs> <laughs> he will. I guarantee you he will. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Please let them know where they can find your music and find you. Um, Everywhere. I'm Brandon J. Patrick. You can find Small Ties Volume 1 on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, Deezer, Tidal, wherever. Um, Instagram, at Brandon J. Patrick. Twitter, Official BJP. Um, thank y'all so much. Thank you so much for having me. This is an amazing it's platform. A for pleasure. Artists. When you drop the next, send it to me, please. Of send course. It to me first. Can you send it to me first? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. I mean, I'm just, I just, I just want to be included. <laughs> yes, I got you. I got you. This was an amazing experience. Thank you so much. 
It Happy. has been an awesome time. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all give it up for Mr. Brandon J. Patrick. <laughs> It's yeah. been a pleasure having you on the show. I'm going to go against DCMA regulations and play Pacific Ocean again. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell Thank me what to so do much. on my radio station. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good song. Thank but you. it's been a pleasure having you. And we got to do it again when you drop your next. Yes. Or let's. if you it's a song you want me to play and you want to talk about it, hit me up. We can talk about it. Let's All do right. it. <laughs> But it's been great. Thank you again. We're going to see you, you when we see you, boo. Yes, ma'am. Thank Later. you. Later. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, that was Mr. Brandon J. Patrick. Whew. I love him. I love his music. I love his aura. You know, this is this is what I love about doing these interviews. I get to interact with these people. I don't want to say these people. I get to interact with business owners, musicians, all type of people. And you get to really see who they are versus just an Instagram picture and paint a picture with your, with your own imagination. You see what I'm saying? Oh, my gosh. It's been a great experience. So moving right along. Y'all make sure y'all keep it locked with me every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 7 p.m. here on HiddenCityRadio.net and on the Instagram page and on the Facebook page and on the YouTube page. Y'all know all that good stuff. I hate talking about it. Moving right along on, what day is it? Um... It's Friday, so coming up on Monday, we're going to have Chef Javon. Y'all going to want to tune in for this because she is an awesome chef. And then on Wednesday, we're going to have another artist, Javon Marvel. His music is pumping right now. And then I'm going to take a break. Your girl needs a break. I'm tired out here in these streets. Speaking of tired, tonight was my 20 episode milestone like i'm sitting here just thinking about that wow and i shared it with an awesome guest i'm so excited y'all i've been doing this for a minute 90 days straight and i'm proud of myself because consistency is key i really don't care who watching and who don't watch because this is for me oh all right so moving right along i'm getting ready to get out of here y'all about to play my song again so i can get in my feelings it's friday night I just want to, you know, I just want to cry. And I have every right to want to cry. Oh, all right. And Brandon is going to help me with it. Thank you. All right, y'all. I'm about to go. Remember, keep it real rap raw so they can't call you flaw. Peace. But I ain't care. I'm always open.